we do that, I had a few letters that I wanted to just uh, read to you. Father Igor Soroka, who's uh, related to Father Tom, whom Quillen mentioned. He was the choir master uh, of the great choirs, the whole choirs. And he wrote us a note. He is in the area, and he wanted to be with us. But he says here that uh, he hopes everything is well with us, and it is with sadness that I will not that I will be unable to attend the OCAL gathering in Pittsburgh in October, celebrating the Ciola movement. This was written on September 22nd. A matter has come up that demands my presence, and which I have to attend. I hope that your meeting will be a very positive and productive meeting. Your organization is to be commended for keeping the flame burning for the unity of all the Orthodox churches in America. Again, thank you for all of your kindness. May the Holy Spirit guide you in all of your deliberations and in all of your hopes for progress and success for unity in the future. We also received a letter in August from uh, another priest who was at the 1963 meeting as a young person. Uh, he had received some mailing from us, and he wrote back this note. He says, your letter regarding the Ciola gathering of 1963 brought back some memories. I attended that gathering, and was struck by all the Orthodox in attendance. Little did I realize what I was attending, as I was more interested in the social events than in the business meetings. Thank you for including Archbishop Nathaniel's article on Ciola. It's in our book, Where Have All the Flowers Gone? Now I realize what happened. Often wondered why there was no follow-up. Within the next two years, I was in grad school and had more immediate issues to address. So. There is, we have received all year with this project uh, interest on this movement. Uh, and we're glad that we were able to keep this alive. Excuse me? This, this is from a priest, Father Michael Masu, who's in Florida. We received a number of, I was in communication many times with Father Stevo who is the uh, president or the chairman of the clergy association here in Pittsburgh, which is a very active clergy association. Uh, I have it that there are many ministries that are coordinated with the laity through the clergy association. And he was a young boy in 1970, uh, we had some pictures on the internet, and he saw the pictures, and he remembered sitting near Peter Critch, the Peter Critch Choir, that was among the choirs uh, at this at this uh, event, and he was watching his parents sing the mass choir. Awesome memories and feelings remembered, and then he also wrote us uh, that ironically. He served as a singing Serbian sing in the Serbian Singing Federation, which was represented in Ciola in the late 70s. And he, and he thinks that he was with it for three years. And he always has fond memories of our work in a wonderful organization. And he, he helped us with trying to organize this meeting here. So I think that uh, the apathy that followed all of this fire, somehow we have to think about how to rekindle it. And these old folks now are still interested in what happened and looking forward to the rekindling of this fire. So Michael, that's an introduction. For you. <laughs>